offense is by flooding the field with receivers. The field is 100 yards long, and it's 53 and, a, and a two thirds yards wide. You see, and we decided we're going to use every inch of it. We divided the field up into sections: the outside section, the number area, the inside area, the hash area. We felt if we could put a person in these areas right along the line that nobody could cover us in Gilman's offense receivers like Elroy Hirsch turn short high percentage passes into long touchdowns Gilman brought his system to San Diego in 1960 quick timing passes designed for a receiver to run after the catch Use the same blueprint to win three Super Bowls in San Francisco. Today, almost every team runs some form of what's known as the West Coast offense. As a rookie coach with the Oakland Raiders, we played in San Diego. Instead, had a television program, and I just by chance happened to catch it. And Sid was sitting with a projector. He had Lance Allworth with him, and they were talking about running specific pass patterns. And at that point, I realized the brilliance of this man. Weak safety man runs to Lance. And again, Lance, you run that hook and, and get that leveling off period and sit down. And then you skip off from there. First time he was 50, went cover seven. Second time he was 40, still went cover seven. I haven't seen any strong coverage yet. Anyone who worked for him, and certainly there were many of us who came out of his, his system, moved on into different areas, but we never gave up what we captured by being with him. Some of us branched out, and we wanted to go in a different direction, but we could never forget the things we learned by being under him. And the coach says, I've got to establish the running game. He is, if you'll excuse me, Cameron, to pull it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to establish the pass. If I can establish the pass, I'll be able to run. But 